Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about the etc view.xml configuration. So what so in this video we are going to learn about the what is view.xml, where it is found, everything we are going to learn about the view.xml. So view.xml we are talking about in the theme folder. There is a file that is called etc view.xml. Let's check out. Right? Go to the theme. Uh, let's take the example of this one. Budget community app code. Sorry gonna be design front end et this light here we have etc view.xml okay you can see here we have mentioned magento catalog and width and height should be this one so you want to change why this view.xml used let's check this so view what is view.xml theme configuration values image sizes product gallery settings js bundling exclusions all these things are present in the view.xml if i look into that you can see that the, all the product based images product list product image gallery images after that there is this one you can see this is the product gallery images like thumb, uh, thumbs you want to enable disable click everything navigation arrows this is all regarding it the full screen or not this is on that you know these are breakpoints and rest we have uh, this exclude this will exclude uh, the files from this is javascript uh, you can see js bundling exclusions files and folders so basically it is defined this is the main purpose of the etc view.xml uh, then the next is how to customize it so etc v.xml simple just copy the parent theme like blank luma or, uh, or parent luma just copy it and paste it in the same same as like etc view.xml and just uh, changing the variable then you and flush the cache it will automatically reflect right so by default all the image sizes and everything is set into this file right which images you want to size rendered on the product detail page that is mentioned over here next we are how to retrieve the values set in the etc con uh, uh, etc view.xml so like this block get var some variable or, and which module so you if you want this variable width and height so you uh, come to know about the which module you are going to assess magento catalog and rest you can say i want to handle the bundle product customization page width or height you can get into this okay so uh, and then what how does inheritance etc view.xml work the same process uh one of a child theme that we are creating then parent theme right so this is how the inheritance work in the etc view.xml okay so i hope you understand what exactly etc view.xml and uh, in future if you want to override it or, or you want to add some additional changes over it you can do that right like catalog uh, images changes thumbnails hiding gallery images uh, making it small or something like this you can do it via view.xml <coughs> so that's it for the etc view.xml i hope you understand the principle of view.xml thank you so much for watching this video have a great day please do like share and comment